An organization like AWF that has been in Africa for more than almost 60 years now, we've seen the progress happening on the continent. The question we are trying to answer is how do we negotiate space for the species in a modernizing Africa? The aspirations of Africans is about economic growth. It's about how do I take my children to school. It's about food, decisions of their future. Conservation has to be African-led. We have no choice. Africa is a young continent. Almost 70% of the people in Africa are below 30. And therefore, conservation must engage the majority of Africans, current African leaders. They are making decisions today that are going to determine the future of the continent. How do we help them make the decisions between development and conservation? <laughs> conservation versus development is a false choice. This is the most important takeaway. You cannot succeed in development without conservation. And the reverse is true. We are not going to be successful in conservation of the continent without development. It's exciting, actually. We are trusted. Because of trust, we are able to have these difficult conversations about conservation and development. But that comes from the trust we have with African governments and people, and the trust comes from how successful we've been for the last 58 years. Many of these species are only found on this continent, and therefore it's our duty to conserve, find solutions, and protect our heritage as Africans. It is a global challenge. This word life is only found in Africa, but it's, it belongs to the entire world.